Hi, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Good day again, everyone. Um, today we will be learning about rash, how to evaluate rational exponents. Okay, so rational exponents are basically just radicals. Okay, we can transform any rational exponents into its radical form and vice versa, radical to rational exponents. And from the term rational, let's just let's just have this one. Rational means fractions. Oops. Rational just simply means fractions. So, ano mga yare? Our, our um, what do you call this? Our fractions, fractional exponents. Okay, our exponents, which is uh, usually um, whole numbers. Say we have um, a raised to three. It would just simply become a fraction. Okay, like an example of a rational exponent is a raised to one half. Okay. So in this um rational form, in, in this uh, rational exponent form, any given can be transformed into its radical form, being this is the base, paren, okay, and this is one half. This is your exponent, but this exponent will be divided into two, okay. This one half, the top part being the exponent of the variable, and the la the se the the denominator would be the index index of the radical okay so if i will have this uh, given um, a raised to one half the radical form of this one would be again the numerator is the exponent being a raised to one or sabi ko nga kung um ano ba to? if that is one okay if the exponent is one it's by default not written okay and then the same goes yung ating index which is of course two magiging two since again that is two, hindi na natin isusulat. So this is read as the square root of a. Again, ano yung mga bagay na hindi natin sinusulat pagdating sa ating topic na exponents and um, radicals? Kapag may square root ka po, hindi mo na isusulat si two. By default to yan. And wala pong first root. Wala pong ganyan. Okay, it's always square root. And if it is square root, it's not written. Kung cube root yan, isusulat yan. Kung fourth root up until pataas, sinusulat except for 2. And 1 does not exist. Okay, so 2 will not be written. Sulat natin para makita nyo. 2 will not be written and 1 does not exist. Wala tayong uh, first root of um, a number. First root. Wala tayong ganun. Okay? And then the rest, 2 above above will be written. Okay? Susulat natin yan. Okay pa? So, I hope you got that. And the same goes kung meron naman tayong exponents. Say, we have a. Yung raised to 1, hindi sinusulat. Pero anything larger than 1 is written. So, 1 not written. 1 above is written. Susulat natin. Okay? So, I hope that you got that. Now, let's go to evaluating radical expo exponents. Okay? Evaluating radical exponents means two things. First one, how do we evaluate numbers? How to evaluate numbers? Sulat natin in yellow. Ay, in, in other color. Violet. Okay. How to evaluate numbers? Numbers in what? In radical exponents. So, for example, we have this given. Um, 9 raised to 1 half. So, of course, trans transform ni muna. Transform ni muna siya sa square root. Square root of 9. And you can use either use calculator or you can use um, any an anything that ka, um, sa cellphone niya calculator or yung mga scientific calculator to get the value of square root of 9. And the square root of 9 is just simply 3. Okay? Remember that is square root, so may 2. So, ang point lang dito, class, is you will look for a number that when you multiply twice to itself, the answer is 9. And ano bang sagot doon? 3 times 3, ang sagot is 9. May dapat walang equal sign. Okay. So, what does this imply? You will have 3 times 3 is equals to 9. Therefore, this is 1 and 2. Pasok siya doon sa criteria. Which is, of course, 2 numbers. Uh, um, a number multiplied twice to itself. So, we will get simply 3. Okay, so let's have another one. Say we have 8 raised to 1 third. Okay, the answer for this one would be the cube root of 8. Okay, the cube root of 8. So, what does this cube implies? You will look for a number that when you multiply thrice to itself, 
the answer is 8. Try natin yung 3 times 3 times 3. Pasok siya sa criteria na tatlong beses, isang number. We have the digit 3 and we multiply the digit 3 thrice to itself. So we have 3 times 3 times 3, the answer is 27. So hindi siya 8, so definitely not 3. Maybe something smaller. Say we have 1 times 1 times 1. Pasok siya sa criteria that a number must be multiplied thrice to itself. So 1 times 1 times 1 is 1, so therefore hindi rin. Something bigger which is of course 2. 2 times 2 times 2, thrice to itself, we will have 8. So therefore, our answer for the 8 raised to 1 third is simply 2. Just 2, isa lang po yung kukunin natin. Okay po? So yeah. And one other way of solving those this kinds of given. Say I have um, the square root of um, one, 9 raised to 1 half. So the answer here is 9 square root of 9, right? Hindi natin sinusulat is square root. But remember, this 9 is also equivalent to square root of 3 squared. Exponents naman. 3 squared is equal to 9. So therefore, we can cancel this one. Bakit po? Kasi remember, 2 yan. Cancel, cancel. The answer is 3. And the same goes kapag ka meron naman tayong um, say, what do you call this? 8 raised to 1 third. That would be equals to cube root of 8 or just simply equal din siya or equivalent siya sa cube root ng 8, um, sorry, not 8, 2 cube. Pag parehas ng index and ng exponent, you can cancel it out. The answer would be simply 2. So now, what if our given will have um, an exponent? For example, I have, um, say I have the, yan, okay, 8 raised to 2 thirds. So what can I do here? I can just simply transform my given. So magkakaroon ako ng 8, may square yan, dama. This would be the exponent and we have 3 here. Okay, so what would happen here? Mangyari dito would be, I can transform my given in this case, okay, 8 squared and cube and in this 8 pwede ko siyang gawing it's also equivalent to 2 cube right and meron kang square and meron ka pa rin cube sa labas okay so again if you will see multiple exponents anong po pwede nating gawin diyan pwede po nating gawin diyan would be we can multiply them using the laws of exponent so this would be 2 raised to 6 Okay, if you will have 2 raised to 6, what can we do next there is, we can, balik natin siya. Ibalik natin siya dun sa radical exponent. Being it, it um, rational exponent, sorry. So, it would be 2 raised to 6 over 3. And what is 6 uh, raised to uh, 6 over 3? Okay, the answer for 6 over 3 is just simply 2, right? So, this would be 2 squared. And of course, wala na tayong fraction. So, therefore, 2 squared is equals to 4. Okay? So, that would be another example. Okay? So, it, it depends on the given, on how you will simplify it to the fullest. Okay? Yung sagad na simplification. And it's al it also depends upon your knowledge on how to manipulate um, radicals and exponents. So, um, it takes time, but of course, uh, soon you will get this one. Okay, our next example. Say we have... 3, 4, 3, raised to negative 4 thirds. Now, this would involve negative exponents. Now, as for negative exponents, remember po, para po mag-iba yung sign ng negative exponent, babalik ta rin mo yung position niya. Pero hindi ito yung babalik ta rin nyo. You will, ang babalik ta rin nyo, yung base na mismo. Okay? So, for example, naisip nyo, oh, it's x raised to negative 1 half. Para maging positive siya, gawin ko siyang x raised to 2 over 1. No, hindi po ganun. Ang pinapalitan po actually dyan is the position of the base number. Meaning, ibababa ko tong x mismo. So, magkakaroon ako ng 1 over x raised to 1 half. So, ganun po palitan ng sign. The same goes pagdating dito sa ating given. So, ang yari dito, we will reverse the position first. Okay? So, we will have 3, 4, 3 raised to 4 thirds. And what's the next thing we need to do? Let me try to isolate this one. Okay? Ibukod natin siya. Tapos saka natin siya ibalik. Okay? So, uh, evaluating this one or changing this one to its, um, what do you call this? Um, to its radical form. So, it would be 3, 4, 3 raised to 4 
cube. Tama, right? Okay. Okay, continuing with this one, um, 3, 4, 3 can be expressed, okay, as 7 cube. Again, 3, 4, 3 can be expressed as 7 cube. So, it takes some um, time to be able to see through that. Pero, yun nga, you will have your calculators available. And if you don't have, you can download scientific calculators on your cell phones. Okay? So, it's 7 cube raised to 4. Again, ano pong gagawin natin kapag multiple exponents? You will multiply them. 4 times 3 is 12. So, we will have this one. And again, balik natin siya class. Ibalik natin siya as our fractional exponent or rational exponent. 7 raised to 12 over 3. And what is 12 over 3 po ba? 12 over 3 is just simply 7 raised to 4. Okay? And 7 raised to 4 will just simply give you, kung i-evaluate nyo siya, 7 raised to 4, let me just do that. 7 raised to 4. Okay, it's 2,401. Okay? And ibalik natin to. Ito yung sagot dito, guys. Ito yung sagot dito. 3, 4, ano yun? 3, 4, 3, raised to um, 3 fourths. Tama ba? Yan. Ay, 4 thirds pala. So, raised to 4 thirds. Yan yung sagot dyan. So, ibig sabihin, ito ibabalik natin saan? Dito po. Yan, dito. So, mangyayari, magiging final answer natin is 1 over um, ano yun? 2, 0, oh, is it 2, 0, oh, 2, oh, 2, 4, 0, 1. 2, 4, 0, 1. Okay? So, this would be our final answer. And that is how we um, evaluate yung numbers. But what about sa letters? Actually, pagdating sa letters is much easier. Bakit mas madali po siyang evaluate? Kasi, we are just simply not multiplying anymore, but we are just simply manipulating the exponents. So, first example po natin, say we have x raised to 6 raised to 1 half. So, in this case, again, ano pong ginagawa natin kapag ka multiple exponents? We just simply multiply them. Okay, multiply natin exponents. Wala pong nagbabago sa rule, nagbabago lang po yung given. So, it will give us x raised to 6 over 2 or just simply x cubed. Okay, since this is a variable and it varies value, hindi po natin alam yung value, then therefore, we can leave this as is. Ito na agad yung final answer mo. Okay, so it's easy, easy enough. When it comes to numbers, you just simp um, numbers you evaluate fully, multiply ka kung kailangan or get the exponent, okay? But when it comes to letter, you just simply need to reduce the exponent or just simply evaluate the exponents, okay? So another example, say we have x raised to four raised to one half. Wala tayo mag hindi tayo magkakaroon ng example guys na ano naka x raised to one half. Kasi yan na mismo yun. Okay? Kasi wala na tayong pwede i-simplify dyan. But in this case, we can still simplify. This would be equal to x raised to 4 over 2. Kasi multiplication ng fraction, it will give us x squared. Ito na yan mismo. Okay? So, now, combining these things, for numbers and for letters, combining these things will give us this uh, specific example, 9n raised to 4 raised to 1 half. So, the same goes ng tinuturo ko sa inyo nung, ano, nung our previous lesson na hindi tayo madamot when it comes to exponents. And this is, would be um, power of a product. Kapag meron kang number, if you have a number and you have a variable, you give it to them both. So, you multiply this to the exponent of 9, which is 1, and you multiply this again to the exponent of n, which is 4. Distributive po tayo. We distribute over multiplication. No, wag yung x, wag yung x, medyo misleading we multiply we also multiply okay, so 1 half times 9 is, uh, 1 half times 1 is 9 raised to 1 half and n times 1 half, the answer is n raised to 2 and n raised to 1 half is equal to the square root of I mean, 9 raised to 1 half is equal to the square root of 9 n squared and ang square root ng 9 is 3 so 3 n squared Okay? So, that's an example. We evaluate them separately po. Okay? Evaluate the number separately and the, the letter separately. Okay? So, let's have another example. Say we have 64 n raised to 12 raised to negative 1 over 6. So, wala po tayong pakailang kung negative yan or not. 
Basta ang gawin po natin, we distribute po. Okay? So, we distribute negative 1, 6 to this one. And we distribute negative 1, 6 to 12. Okay? To 64 and to n and multiply the exponent, giving you 64 raised to negative 1 over 6. N raised to 12 times negative 1, 6. The answer would be negative Okay, evaluating this further, separate natin yung 64 raised to negative 1, 6. This would give us a fraction form of 1 over 64 raised to 1 over 6. Okay, and 64 raised to 1 over 6 is just simply 64 raised, uh, the 6th root of 64. Okay, you can check that on your calculator that the square, the 6th root of 64 would simply be, wait lang, 64, it's simply 2. Okay, so... This would be equals to 2. So, magkakaroon ka ng 1 half. So, may 1 half ka na dito. Next, n raised to negative 2 would be simply 1 over n squared. Multiplying them together will give you 1 over 2n squared. Okay? So, again, knowledge about fractions is very important. And it's just simply a mixture of our different topics. Okay? So, that would be all for our discussion for today. Thank you everyone for listening. If you would have any other questions, you can review the video again or ask me in our class. Thank you again. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.